Listen up. Everyone here knows their job. I want you hanging off their legs, their ribs, their ears if you can get hold of them. You know it's at stake today. Let's not make this personal. It's us versus St George, not you versus your brother. I don't need a lecture, Jack. <laughs> Concrete goes in the hole, mate, not your boots. What happened? Dad's been sent off. He elbowed Uncle Trent. What were you thinking? He must have really pissed you off as a kid, did he? That didn't look real good today. Do you want to help me, Dad? Nice work, Mick. We need to attract some marquee players, and we're a business. Newtown teams have always been about soul. We're a football club, not the Commodores. The CEO of Newtown went to offer me a contract. The game's changed, mate. I ain't got the power anymore. At least fight. I've been fighting for you since day one. You know what? They can't clap and cheer the way I've played for the last 13 years. Then after one match, call me a thug and get rid of me. I think you might be in some trouble this time, Jono. You might be all right. I've had enough. You know, I just came from your house. She's at home cooking your dinner, running your kids around. You never have time for us. You wouldn't even know your own kids. I was working at 15 and looking after you and Mum. Mum was there to look after me. I didn't need a father. I wanted a brother. I got sacked. What have I got now? I've got nothing. Well, who am I supposed to be without football? I want Mick Henderson back. I don't want to live with Grub anymore. He's not the man I married, and he's not the man I fell in love with. Just a short note. You find the key inside. There's no one home tonight. We're coming anyway. This game belongs to the people.